Mark phoned me to say that he'd got a job and he was leaving and he said he was just so relieved he was just so happy to be getting out of it and he said you know thank the Lord he said I'm going to hand in my notice this week and um, I never spoke to him again because the next day uh, he was burnt to death in an explosion at his employer's premises. The workplace generally has become much safer over recent decades. But that's little consolation for the many who continue to be injured. And for the relatives of those who were killed. Somebody is dead. Somebody's loved one went to work and didn't come home because a director did not um, lead from the top. And the workplace is also the cause of mental and physical stress. It's not surprising that the majority of deaths I got this phone call and it, it was from the manager of the paint shop at the garage saying that Lewis had been involved in an accident and he was badly injured. And I said, what happened? And he said there was a fire, an explosion, and that Lewis had been burnt. And I went, how bad? And he went, really bad. Three days later, he died. At first, they, they thought it was static electricity that had caused the explosion. Um, but then the health and safety executive, they came down and they did various tests and investigation. And they and after interviewing some people, they, um, they realised then that it was, um, it was a totally preventable accident. We got the manslaughter charge against the manager. Um, we had been told it was almost impossible to get it, but we did. He was convicted of 12 health and safety breaches.